Super Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. To my channel if you don't know who I am my name is C and I do tons of girly and lifestyle fragrance and home decor videos on this channel so if that's something you're interested in do consider subscribing below but today we are gonna be doing a day in the life of a pink Pilates princess now I know you guys have probably seen this trend going around if you don't know what pink Pilates princess is it's basically just an aesthetic there are tons of Pinterest boards and tons of Pinterest inspiration out there for this pink Pilates aesthetic basically it's just pink girly and Pilates if if you want to sum it all up <laughs> I am a dancer myself but I've always wanted to try out Pilates and I got invited to a free class so I thought why not make a video out of it and try it out for you dolls I thought it was a super cute idea outside of the overly priced skincare and like products that they buy for no absolute reason it is like 7 30 I've already taken my shower and now I'm just gonna do my skincare and put my hair up I did not wash my hair today I just took it out of the braids I'm going to do a deep condition and braid it back down to go underneath my wigs for the rest of the week but yeah let's go ahead and get started with skincare then I'm gonna head out to Pilates and then I think I might stop at the farmers market on my way back I have a manicure appointment because I booked a hand modeling job so I do have to stop at a manicure appointment today and I'm just gonna take you guys along with me for my day and hopefully I don't know how this Pilates class is gonna go but hopefully it's a lot of fun and I get a good workout in. Okay, let's go and do my skincare. I've already put my oil in my hair. I'm just going to go in with this leave-in conditioner. I've never tried this before, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to style my hair with this, you guys. Typically, I normally always do my skincare after I do my hair, only because I put a lot of oils in my hair and it tends to get on my skin as well. with this because I've been having breakouts really really bad and I'm also gonna use this apricot face oil it's like face and body oil so we're gonna use those and I also have my 
gua sha and stuff here that's been chilled in the freezer already. So. makeup when I go to class anytime I go to dance class or any of my conditioning classes or workout classes I literally do my skincare put on chapstick or lip balm or maybe a lip gloss and that's pretty much it but for the sake of this video I am gonna apply a little bit of makeup just to give you guys an idea of like what you can do if you don't want to go if you're not comfortable going without any makeup on I'm just gonna go in with some mascara I'm gonna use apply a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes just because my eyes are a little dark I have a few little dark circles underneath there Honestly, I don't even want to do that, but keep in mind, I just put a lot of oil on my face, so... And I don't know about you guys, but in the morning sometimes to me, it's too early to wear makeup. I'll be like, oh my god, it's just too early for me to wear makeup. Like, I know there's some girlies who are beasts and can just get up and put their makeup on and be ready to go every morning. I'm like, oh no, no, no. That's just too early for me. Then I'm going to go in with some mascara. This is uh, Nicole Miller's Lengthening Mascara and Volume Masking Mascara. They came in a duo set. You're supposed to use them together. So I'm going to lengthen and then volumize. Like to me, wearing makeup to go to a class or to go to the gym to work out is just a waste because it's going to all run down your face and you're going to come back home anyway and take a shower. So you're literally going to wash it all off again and typically if I'm going to the gym and I'm like alone by myself and I'm not going to be in a class I won't take my shower until after I go to the gym because it makes no sense to take a shower to go to the gym and then take a shower after you come back it's just a waste of water but I took a shower today because I'm going to be in class with people that I never met before and do not know and I'm probably going to be talking and people are probably going to have to explain like a lot of stuff to me like the teacher and stuff 
so I don't want to be stinky, you know. If I, like I said, if I'm alone, I'll, I won't take the shower. I'll just wait until I get back home, but I'm like super nervous about this class because I like never have ever taken a Pilates class before. I guess the reason why is because, I don't know, as a dancer, you just always want to be perfect and I have an issue with that. So I'll try a class and if I'm not perfect at it, I'll just like quit it. And then I'm gonna go in with like this Wet n Wild lip pencil. Lip pencil is just like a berry tone and I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to my lips. And my favorite lip gloss, this is NYX Lip Butter in the color Fudge Me. Actually, this isn't my favorite color. My favorite color is um, Ginger Snap. And that is it. She's all ready to go. Yeah, she's glowing. Now let's get dressed. Okay, so I'm thinking this tote might be the perfect option. It's super big and if I go to the farmer's market or if I go shopping, I can add some items in there. Here's Pinky, you guys. She's like, can I go? Yeah, and then I'll just use this to put all of this stuff inside of and then I'll use that for the farmer's market. Oh. Okay, so we're about to go into class. It's right across the street and I'm sitting over here so that I can talk to you guys so I don't embarrass myself. I have made the executive decision not to actually vlog inside of there because it would just be weird.
just left the farmer's market and I didn't get anything because I didn't see anything that I wanted. I was looking for like fresh uh, pressed juices and I did not see that. But I did get this, which is information about how I could work with my city council to fight rent control in Burbank, which is very important because the rent is just getting out of control. So I am definitely gonna look into this. It's so crazy, you guys, because you would think that by now people know what like vlogging is and what a uh, vlogger is, but people still stare at you like very weirdly in public. And I'm only, filming right now just to improve my self-confidence with vlogging so I can get better at it but yeah people are definitely staring maybe it's the pink outfit too maybe that they're kind of like what's going on I quite literally can't believe it I think I'm gonna sit somewhere and explain okay guys so I didn't tell you what happened so wait hold on I went to my class and guess what the class was canceled <laughs> so I just walked over to the farmers market which you guys just saw me leaving and yeah I didn't get anything but they did say they have a class next week so I signed up for that one but yeah my class today was canceled unfortunately but that's okay You guys probably can't hear me but I got my nails done just a basic nude pinky nude short manicure gel X and now I'm gonna head to the mall to do some shopping since I really didn't get to do my Pilates <laughs> so I'm like might as well go to the mall and do some shopping so that's where we're gonna go right now
Hey dolls, we are back home now, obviously. I have my pink smoothie that I made with some granola on top. This is perfect for just like a really quick and easy meal. Not trying to do too much. You just worked out. Now I don't know about y'all, but when I just work out, I'll be a little bit nauseous. And also like right before, if I eat too much when I work out, I will like legitimately throw up. So this is perfect like the perfect smoothie the perfect meal replacement in a way so good okay as you guys could tell and you could see we did not get to go to our pilates class because my pilates class was canceled <laughs> and i didn't know because i signed up for it last night and when i got the invitation it was like a week ago but it gave me like different dates i could sign up for so i just picked today's date but I guess they have to have a certain number of people in order to run the class I don't know how it works but I was the only one there for that particular class so it got canceled but they did tell me that I could come back next week um, so I will be doing that and if I do remember I'll try and vlog that for you dolls and because of that I did go to the store because I did want to pick up a few things while I'm out I got my nails done here's the manicure you guys it's just a basic plain basic girl manicure now this isn't my typical style I y'all know I love the nail long glamorous nails but um I have a job that I have to do tomorrow I have like a hand modeling job I have to do tomorrow and this is what they wanted so because they're paying for it I, I got what they wanted um, but I also feel like this is a great nail style for someone who's a pink Pilates princess I feel like a lot of the pink Pilates princess aesthetic is more of like natural pinks and whites and nude nails and they're very short they're not really long like my style so I think that this is perfect little cute pink Pilates perfectly on brand you know what I'm saying but let me show you guys what I picked up and then we're gonna close out the vlog I went to Ross and I also went to forever 21 and I also went to Burlington so I'm just gonna show you y'all forever 21 I picked up these socks super cute I was looking for some tall white socks these are not entirely what I was looking for but they are tall and they are white socks. I will definitely be on the hunt for a different pair. I'm looking for like sports. Like maybe I need to go to the men's section to get them. But nonetheless, these were $7. And I was like, oh, is socks $7? I thought socks were like $5. But apparently socks are $7 now. So I got this pair of white ones. I think it's cute to wear with like leggings for yoga class and even my dance classes. That would be great for. And I also picked up this sports bra because it was so cute. I tried to get the matching shorts but one I tried them on and they were not squat proof <laughs> and two I couldn't find an extra small so I just left them but here is that pink top super cute I love the ribbing right here and believe it or not uh, Forever 21 has some good sports bras it is stretchy at the back and this is like super thick material I don't know if you guys can tell but it's super super thick they do have a couple of different brands and styles, but the one that has this logo on it is the one that I always go for. And I just love that it looks ribbed. I also felt like this could be um, doubled as like a top. So that was a plus. And this was in an extra small and it was only $12.99. It does say the color is mauve. So just know that it's not like a baby perfect pink. Like here's my favorite color pink. It's more like a mauve toned pink, but I still like it a lot because I do wear a lot of mauve. All right, guys. So I turned up the brightness on the camera a little bit. So sorry if it's like super, super bright, but you guys should be able to see me a little bit better. It was just really dark on the camera. And I have been, I have been just dealing with my camera. I've been changing the settings and just trying to find the best thing that works for me and the best light. Because if you guys have watched any of my other videos, you already know. I've had issues with the color so I'm trying to figure out a new a new way of doing things anyways we went to Ross and I got these hair clips I love it they're frosted they're really big I feel like they're heavy duty hair clips which is what I need I have hair clips but they're not like big and thick like these and most of them that I did have before already broke so I only have two big ones left 
and I need them for my natural hair because my natural hair I don't know why hair clips just break in them they just break and or they pop out so I feel like this one is pretty big and heavy duty I also love the light um, pastels for spring I thought this would be perfect this is only four dollars guys and then I was heading out and something said check the uh, little wallet section on your way out and I was like no don't do it but then I still did it so I found two cute wallets that I was so happy I checked the first one was this one it was $8.99 super cute and I love this one because the embossed lettering is that old juicy font and that's my fave this was $8.99 it's in the color macaroon super cute and I thought maybe I have a purse to match that, but I actually don't have a purse with just the old school juicy font. The other purses I have have a mixture of fonts, which I'm not a fan of. And then I also picked up this one, also $8.99. These both were originally $35. This is more of a mauve pink, which I have a lot of bags in this color, so I thought it would match. I did see the bigger one of this, like not the um, card holder, but the wristlet, and I decided to leave it behind. I just don't have a use for it. I'm trying to be more particular about like my purchases. You guys already know this, and I just feel like I would just be purchasing it because it was juicy and pink, and that's not really the best reason. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, if it's the reason, it's the reason. But it's not really the best reason to purchase something. So I said, let me go ahead and get the smaller one. I like that it has the two hearts. You guys know I love the hearts with the logo. And then look, you guys, on the back, also has the name there. So cute. Then we went to Burlington. And I went in there because I had to pick up some I had to pick up some items for a shoot that I'm doing. So I wanted to go in there and see if they had anything. And generally Burlington has stuff. You just have to kind of search, but they have it really, really super discounted, which is a plus for me. So then I'm not spending a bunch of money on just like a photo or a shoot and then after that. You know what I mean? I'm probably not going to use it again. I don't know. I try to get use out of it, but maybe not. But first of all, I found this bag. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to get this, but I saw it. Okay, I went back in there because... Okay, you guys remember the dark pink bag I showed you in my Juicy Couture haul? There's a light pink one out there like it. Only the clasp is a lock. And so that's what I went in there looking for. I've seen it all over TikTok, but I cannot freaking find it. I did see the pink backpack again with the lock on it, and I picked it up. But then I saw this, and I was like, mm, I gotta get it. It's so cute. You guys, the chain is connected to the zipper pocket. Like how? How? And then I thought it would be really cute to get like a pom-pom keychain to hang on this side. This was $17.99, originally $89. Super cute. Now the embossed font, as you guys can see, is not the traditional lettering that I like, but it's okay because the color and the style of this bag makes up for it. So yeah, I think I'm done. I think I need to not buy any more juicy bags at this point. I'm done. Next, I have a shirt that I picked up, and it's just like a lounge top, kind of like a bit. It was by the like clothes, not the sleepwear. But I, I just thought this could possibly be sleepwear and would be great for lounging around or on cold days in dance class. I could just throw on my leggings or my shorts and put some tall socks and this on, and I'll be pretty warm. It was $5.99. It's the perfect pink color. I love it. I think it's cute. And I also got this for a possible shoot. For a shoot I'm doing. Like a possible option for a shoot that I'm booked to do. But I don't know if they're going to use it or not. They probably won't. Then I got this also for the same shoot um, as an, a possible option. And it's just this like teal sea green top. And it has like the lettuce hem on it. I thought that was really cute. And also at the bottom, um, this was $5.99 as well. Not my style at all. I mean, the top is my style. If it was in white, black, or pink, I would love this. But just this like color, I don't love. But this color is one of the brand colors. And they said to try to stick to, if I bring any options, try to stick to brand colors. So I just was like, mm. I saw it and I thought, this could also be worn later on for like headshots 
I don't know you guys if they don't end up using it if we don't end up using it it's definitely going back to the store I tell you that I picked up some underwear you guys don't need to see that but yeah these are La Ashley Laura Ashley underwear and I got these out of the women's section but when I got them up to the register I noticed that it says girls on the top of it because I was looking through the women's underwear and I was looking for extra smalls and I found a pack of juicy couture underwear that was extra small but girl it was not really extra small like it looked like it was a medium I was like these are not gonna fit me then I saw these and then I noticed when I got up to the register it said girls I was like that's that's why it looks like it's my size because it's for a child <laughs> so that was embarrassing but at the same time I really kind of don't care because it's just underwear and it's just like basic you know um hip hugger underwear to just wear around like on your period or like day to day just you know nothing special you're not going out you don't have a date you're not trying to show anybody anything it's just you know your day-to-day -day underwear so I thought that was pretty perfect and that was only seven dollars and the underwear that was women's underwear was fifteen dollars so that's another tip if you guys are tiny like me and you can fit like kid sizes girl don't feel any type of way about it you really can't tell honestly if it hadn't said girls on it I wouldn't have known that it was girls because these are the same type of patterns and prints you see at Victoria's Secret's cotton section. Like, honestly. Last but not least from Burlington, another card holder. But it's so cute, you guys. And this is a different pink color than the one I showed you in my haul. The one I showed you in my haul is like this color pink. I'll show you. I hope the camera's picking it up. It was more of like a blue-toned wow and the camera they look exactly the same but they're not it was more like a blue toned darker pink and this one is definitely like more of a warm tone hot pink which i really like i also just like how plain it is there's no prints or anything on it just the juicy logo in gold this was 7.99 i thought this would be perfect to pair inside of like black purses or with black outfits or white outfits like basic outfits. I'm a fraud, y'all. To be 100% honest with you guys, I've never tried a Pilates class. I think I said this before. And the fact that we didn't get to go today just makes me feel so fraudulent. I'm a fraud. But you know what? I'm not because the whole purpose of this vlog was to give you guys the experience of being a Pilates princess and everything. We just didn't get to go to Pilates, but outside of that, everything else was on brand. <laughs> so, I mean, okay, dollies, that was it. That was a day in the life as a pink Pilates princess. I hope you dolls had fun getting to go along on this journey with me. Hopefully, I'll get to take that class next week, and maybe I can take you guys along with me. I hope you guys enjoy just hanging out. I love you. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you dollies in the next video. Bye! Bye, dolls. So